Okay, so this is the big and scary chi-square test. Uh, actually, it's quite simple. All you have to think about is this is a calculation to tell you whether or not your observed value is going to be the same is the same as your expected value or something's wrong. Um, and the whole point of this is just you're trying to look at your chi-square value. You try to calculate the chi-square value and then compare it to some critical value in this big scary table here. So in this table you are going to get some kind of uh, let's say uh, uh, some number and these things are called critical value critical value and um, you're trying to compare your calculated chi-square with that critical value if chi-square is smaller than the critical value then you will conclude that there is no no differences no different between your observed and your expected value if chi-square is larger than the critical value then you will conclude that there is a difference between your observed and your expected value which means that something is not normal something is not right with your expected value okay so what does it have to do with biology ha. okay so let's say you have a problem where a farmer crosses two heterozygous plants which means big pig pea, little pea so you can probably tell that the big P is the dominant so the little piece is the recessive so this farmer crossed two of those plants and then he gets 23 purple plants and four white plants question is is this normal is it following the Mendelian law so you are going to have to apply the chi-square test for this problem and how you do it is looking at this so looking at this stuff this is your observed value right here this is your observed value uh, so I'm just gonna say O here observed value and in total you have 27 total total plants right now let's figure out what is your expected value so you can compare your observed value to your expected value well I'm just drawing like a quick pendant square here and obviously you have one two three three purple and the ratio is three purple to one white so your expected value and this is the important part your expected value if this were to follow the Mendelian uh, law you have 27 total plants that means that how many should you expect to be purple well you, you should expect three three quarter of those to be purple right so your expected value for purple will be 27 multiplied by 3 divided by 4 which is equal so which is equal oops, 20.25 purple plants well, that's kind of silly that you have a uh, 20.25 plants, but this is just a calculation, so who cares? Okay, so how many whites do I expect to have here? Um, so it's one quarter of 27, so that would be 6.75. Okay, so this is my expected value for the purple and the white. If I was to have a Mendelian second separation okay so now that I have an expected value and the uh, oops sorry ah there we go expected value and observed value I can use my big hairy scary formula of chi square equal to summation of the observed value minus the expected value squared divided by the expected value Whew. okay so summation mean add together so observed value here for purple plan is 23 minus expected would be 20.75 square divided by 
expected value 20.75 and then summation add together I mean I have to add the white also so the white observed is 4 minus expected is 6.75 square divided by 6.75 okay so if I add them together my sky square would be equal to okay so I punch this number into a calculator and it gives me 1.36 okay so now that I have a chi square number, I'm going to compare it to my critical value. So chi is 1.36. Let's look at my table. Ah, so here's another tricky part. So we had to choose some kind of number. Now um, there's only two outcome. So there's a there's a degree of freedom. And then there's a bunch of these possibility. Okay, so just a rule of thumb, com by convention, this is totally convention, people usually use this guy, 0 0.05. What it means is that you are 95% sure that your test is, you have 95% confidence in your test. So that means that you only look at this column if you want a 95% sure. Now you have to decide how many degree of freedom there are. Okay, well the degree of freedom is actually just the number of outcome, uh, the, the categories minus two. So degree of freedom is really just the number of category. How many types are there? Minus one. So how many types do we have? We have a white plant and we have a purple plant. So we have two types. Two minus one is equal to one. So that means we're looking at the first row here. So, okay. The number that we want to compare our chi-square for, oops, sorry, this is so, so, so ugly. Okay, there. The number that we want to compare our chi-square for is 3.84. So the critical value in this case is 3.84 and our chi-square number is 1.36 That chi-square is smaller than critical number so we can conclude that oh yeah our cross is, is fine there's nothing wrong with it Now what happens if your chi-square is larger? What happens if your chi-square is larger than the critical value? Or if your chi-square is larger than your critical value, that means that something is, there's some factor that is influencing this, this, this crossing. Maybe your phenotype, your genotype originally is not correct. Maybe these genes get some kind of gene linkage so that is how